deepening mystery of the airplane that vanished, 239 souls on board. It is now four days into the search, and one new theory has emerged. Take a look. At first, investigators believe the plane traveled this scheduled route, then disappeared. But tonight, new clues suggest that the plane could have veered radically off course, and that means a vast new stretch of ocean to be searched. ABC's Bob Woodruff is on the ground in Beijing with the very latest on the disappearance of Flight 370. Today, the Malaysian military is quoted saying they believe the mystery jet headed way off course. The flight carrying 239 passengers en route north to Beijing, banking hard to the left. The military saying the plane soared back over hundreds of miles of land for an hour, never sounding an alarm, cruising low into the Strait of Malacca, a busy shipping lane near a tiny rocky island called Palau Parak. No boat, no one on land ever spotting it. An almost unimaginable maneuver, sparking even more questions tonight. From the sky, it is like looking for a needle in a haystack for the 40 aircraft and ships. Our partners, the BBC, with a bird's eye view, aboard a search chopper. Officials here are using their naked eyes to try to spot anything in the water that seemed to be out of the ordinary. So it's easy to see why Vietnamese officials have thought they spotted something and they turned out to be false leads. A Colorado company is even crowdsourcing, asking the public to help by scouring images for clues taken by their satellites high above the region. There was some progress today. We learned the two men who were on the flight using fake passports are both young Iranians, a 19-year-old and 29-year-old, traveling to Germany, one possibly seeking asylum. Officials in contact with one of the men's mother saying today that they do not think the men have any connection to terror. Still criticism of the investigation and search is mounting. Complaints that the Malaysians are not coordinating the investigation. It's haphazard, it's scattershot, there doesn't be, seem to be any rhyme or reason, and there doesn't seem to be any centralized control by the Malaysian government. This idea that the plane may have veered off course to one side very hard without any communication is hard to explain, but the experts say perhaps this means that the pilot was rogue, maybe a hijacking, but there's no evidence of either one of those, so this mystery continues.